Good morning Year 3 and welcome to our final week of home learning videos. For our guided reading today we're going to read a newspaper report. I'm going to reveal to you what the headline in the picture is and we know that the headline gives us a clue as to what the report will be about. So our headline is Dangerous Mummies Roaming the Street and here's the picture from the newspaper report. So I want you to take a look at both of those and have a think about what the newspaper report could be about. Pause the video and make a prediction now. Let's read the report together and find out if you were correct. Don't forget to underline any words you are unsure of as I'm reading along. Yesterday afternoon, two young boys named Horrid Henry and Perfect Peter discovered that there are mummies lurking all around us. The boys made this discovery after uncovering a curse of the mummy kit, complete with a plastic body to mummify, a gauze for wrapping mummies, a curse book, amulet and removable mummy organs. Henry told us that on reading the curse book thoroughly, he realised that he needed to save and protect his brother as mummies are all around us and we don't even know it. When we spoke to Henry about the book, this is what he had to say. I heard something strange coming from Peter's bedroom. It sounded like a groaning and a wailing. Feeling brave, I went inside and found the book and a mummifying kit. I knew straight away that this kit would be dangerous for Peter, so I planned to take it from his room and hide it so he couldn't hurt anyone. How brave! When we asked Peter about it, he said, I didn't believe Henry at first. I thought he was just snooping around my bedroom as always. But when I asked Mum, she said she was a mummy. I knew then that Henry was telling the truth and we had to perform a spell to rid Mum of this terrifying curse. There you have it. Two brave boys battled out the curse of the mummies and now their home is safe once more. If you find yourself wondering if your mum is a mummy in disguise, Henry offers this advice to help you. First, you must wrap a cat up in loo roll. Beware of those sharp, dangerous mummy claws though. Then, find a human sacrifice and wrap them up in loo roll too. They must remain silent for 30 minutes whilst you chant the sacred mummy spell. This should cure your mummy's curse. Good luck young citizens and beware the mummy's curse. Okay, so I would like you now to pause the video and spend some time trying to work out the meaning of any words that you have underlined. And you can do this by reading around the words or reading the sentence that it's in, or you can use a dictionary. Okay, now we are ready to answer some questions. I'm going to go through the first two with you and then you can answer the rest on your own. So number one says, what two words describe the sounds Henry could hear from Peter's bedroom? So I'm going to go back to the text and have a look if I can see something about sounds that Henry could hear. Here we go. It sounded like a groaning and a wailing. Okay, we've got Peter's bedroom and it sounded like a groaning and a wailing. So we can put Henry described the sounds as a groaning and a wailing. Number two, what does the word snooping mean? Now, this might be one of the words that you underlined, but let's go back to the text and see if we can find it. I'm pretty sure it was down here. Here we go. When we asked Peter about it, he said, I didn't believe Henry at first. I thought he was just snooping around my bedroom. Hmm. Now, if you're snooping around somewhere, you're trying to maybe... Henry was listening into Peter's bedroom trying to find out some private information about him. So we can put the word snooping means sneaking around trying to find out someone else's private information. Okay, now it is time for you to complete the rest of the questions in your pack. Well done.